Well, what I want to do now is show how to measure for a dog rug. Now, we tried this with real dogs and it didn't work very well. So what we've got here is a wooden Scotty whose eyebrows and ear has been eaten by a real Scotty. But anyway, he'll do for now. Now, the first measurement you need to take is the length of the bit that you want. Now, centre back just below the collar to wherever you want it. Now, if it's a growing dog, put it right to the tail, in this case 10 inches. If your dog is already as grown as they're going to be, well, depend where you want to put it, basically. But that's where you measure the back. Now, the circumference or the width of the, um, the rug is going to be from the centre to where you want it. Now, if you've got um, a dog with long legs, you probably want it um, right down the whole of its um, belly. If you've got a short-legged dog, you may want to put that up a bit. It depends whether you're going to be on grass and things, where it gets wet and dirty, or um, whether that matters or not. Now, I usually go just about where the, um, what is actually the elbow joint there. Um, and then we look on the other side, take it to the same place, and that's 15. Now that, that works because I was looking from the centre and centre to this side was seven and a half, so 15 for the whole lot. The other um, one that you might need to um, change on your, your um, uh, rug is the chest here. Now, the, um, the, when you do the back, you then come to the splitting for the neck. And what you're then going to want to do is measure from where that finishes round to the centre of the front there. So, what we need to do is just basically I'm going to measure from the shoulder there to the shoulder here. This is eight inches, which means I want round about four inches on each side. Now, if you're again, if your dog is, is going to be growing, then you might want to make each um, front a bit bigger. You might want to bring it over say six inches and then when the um, dog is small you will overlap the front. When it comes to, to full um, size then they'll just meet in the middle there. So those are the measurements for a rug. Now for a sweater uh, things are a little different. Um, Sweater has front legs. For that, you need to measure round the widest point of the chest, which in most dogs is more or less just behind the front legs. Here it's, uh, it's 20. On some of the big chested animals, you may need to go back a bit, but just look to see what the biggest bit. Now, how long do you make a sweater? The length of a sweater depends very much whether it's a male or female. If it's a female, you can put it right up to the um, back uh, ankle joint, what's officially, uh, officially the ankle joint there. On this one, that would make it about eight and a half, that sort of thing. Now, for a male, you've got the sheath here, 
and so you'd need to make it shorter round about 12, uh, 7, sorry I can't read, round about 7. So a female's will be longer than what you want for a male because you want to be, to, for them to be able to um, pee quite easily um, if it's going to be out, worn outside. Now, all my sweaters have a, um, the, the belly part here um, is, unlike this, um, is a ribbed area so that it can stretch here and come narrower here, which most real dogs do. So there your uh, ribbing is fairly pulled out and here it should be in. The length of the legs on um, a, um, a sweater, basically down to about the knee is usually the sort of thing. Now, again, it depends if you're wanting it seriously warm to be worn inside a cold house or outside on cold walks, you may want to put it down a bit. Um, again, it's up to you. And the uh, numbers on the pattern are for the average dog. So if you're making it for a friend, go with what's on the pattern. But if you've got a particular dog in mind, you may well need to change it. So that's how to measure a dog for its rug. Now the next thing is once you've uh, made your rug, how is it going to fit? Now this is too big uh, for this one. As you can see, we're right over the end of the tail. Um, but what, where you want it to sit is basically just below where the collar comes. Now, whether you are using a harness or not, you can easily put a harness on over, over these rugs. Um, or if you're using a collar, just below where the collar would sit is usually the best place to put it. Um, on this particular one, she's a star, we have, um, I've, there's a possibility of, of using it for, um, with this one, which is, um, she's a star, there's the possibility of using it as a rug which is going to grow with the puppy. And in that case, I use, tend to use buttonholes here and then I can use one of these further along to begin with and as she gets bigger go to the outside one. Now again when you've put this on you're, you have got a choice. Either you can make it so that the fronts overlap and have some sort of fastening low down to keep it snug or you can leave the bits open. It's up to you, it's up to your dog. Now if you're going to be using a, um, a band round the belly, um, again it where you put it depends on the dog. A dog with a big chest you'll put it just behind the chest. A female dog, it can go sort of anywhere. Male dog, make sure that the sheath is um, to the tail end of the band. Now, you just put the band on as you want it. Now, I've got it upside down. Um, I use these um, buckles, plastic bu buckles like that. They work very well. Um, I also, if I'm using um, uh, a fabric band, 
I tend to use garter stitch done fairly tightly because that has got quite a bit of elasticity in it. Um, you can either put that on the top or further down and the beauty of doing it this way is you can, once it's clipped, you can then pull it to get it right. You don't want it too loose or it'll go back and you don't want it too tight or the dog won't move. Now, let's look at some more. We'll get rid of him. Now, this one here, um, I had put a just the one button on there because when Magnus was wearing it that was right for him. Now if he had been smaller I might have put on two buttons. Um, the other thing you can do if the dog is not going to grow anymore uh, you can always stitch down the front and then just pop it over the head. If you have a dog who tends not to like um, having things around his head and things, then if you do that, then you can just pop it over the head and you've done it before they know what's happening. Now, let's look at another one. Now, uh, this was the original one that I did. And here I have sewn, because she's now grown as much as she's going to, I have sewn the front pieces over, the, over together there. Now I could also, if I wanted to, sew it down there or put one of these clips. You can sew one of those clips on the front. Again, it depends on the type of dog you have, how big it is. Bigger ones tend to need more substantial um, clips down the front. And what, I, um, what you can either do is stitch it on directly or make a small bit of knitting and attach it to that. Uh, that one also has a um, a belly band um, which I've closed with a um, with a button. Now let's look at the collie size one and here um, I've done something different um, because the collie who is for is a dog that will move an awful lot I have attached the belly band to the edge of the rug there, that side with that clip, and then I've attached the other part of the clip um, with a little bit of about, that's about um, an inch or so of garter stitch strip there. And this means then that that just attaches there and there and again, you can pull it tight if you want to, but it's not going to slip and slide about up here. With this one, again, because of the, the dog that it's for, I've just put on the one button at the top. When he moves, the front opens, and when he comes still, it just comes back again. So that suits him. You need to think about how you're going to, sh to shut the front and the belly depending on your dog, depending on what your dog likes, what your dog likes to do and in general with the smaller dogs a complete belly band like that is usually the best idea. For bigger dogs then probably attaching it like this is a better idea. But the choice, basically, is yours. <laughs>